Hello, everyone. Good evening. I have su Supermarket Simulator now. Yay. Welcome to the my regular stream. I'm Black Cat, if you're not familiar with me. I mainly stream Path of Exile content, though I've been doing some other RPG, sandbox, survival, etc. games. I'm playing much of the forest and Dead Rising 2 and stuff while I'm on little hiatus from Path of Exile. So I picked up Supermarket Simulator because I've been watching it on YouTube a bit. And, uh, it's a fun little game. And I'll be honest, I'm fucking tired today. So, today is going to be a nice, chill, cozy stream. Because, oh boy, do I not want to do anything super exciting today. <laughs> the forest is amazing. I love it. It is a great game. It is takes a lot of brain power and emotional energy to do. So, gonna gonna do something just like really fucking chill because this is such a good zone out game. Welcome to Supermarket Simulator. You'll start with a small store and grow to an awesome supermarket. Start by purchasing goods to sell and place them onto the shelves. Don't forget to set the prices with a profit to avoid bankruptcy. Have fun! So, this game is very similar to what you would expect. It is exactly what you have just been told and nothing else. Eh. No, I want to move you. Oh, close the checkout? I need to close the checkout first. What are... Oh, you can't move things initially? That's annoying. Okay. Well, we have $50, so we're going to need to order some stuff. Nope, too much. Fences stuff. Gosh darn it. No. I can afford that. Okay, we have sugar. What else? Flower. And a pasta. And we have bread. For some reason, I almost said burb. Yes, we sell burb. Okay, so we need to set the prices. Market price, 371. I'm just going to... I like to go for just e like even numbers if I can. Make it very, very simple. People don't seem to mind pay overpaying a little bit more than market price. So, and sometimes I go a little bit under just for the sake of having it rounded. Alright, cool. So we got our food in stock. And we got all of our stuff in. And now we can start our first day. Can I not... Open the... Now I can, okay. I guess you have to wait for your first customer before you can actually enter the cash area. Okay, going to give some change. Who pays for $9 worth of stuff with a $100 bill? You, sir, are an asshole. I have worked... I've worked retail before, and I have gotten those people. It's like, oh yeah, we're just going to pay uh, for a $3 item. Yeah, no, 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 here's a hundred. You have change for that, right? No, not necessarily. God damn it, a fifty? Ugh. People are so fucking rude. Eh. 
moving that over a little bit so I can access the light. Yeah, they'll wait for me. Uh, G, G for good drop. Let's see if they'll take five for that. Oh my god. So many big bells. If I didn't have infinite change, this would suck. Managing change in retail is really hard sometimes. Because, like, usually you're supposed to uh, put... It, depending, it depends on what type of retail you're in. But most retail, the ones that do, like, a lot of quick, small transactions, tend to have a safe, like, right behind the counter. And you need to fill... Basically, whenever you have a certain amount of money or more, you have to drop stuff into the safe. Because that locks it away, and then it's uh, time-gated to uh, only a security company to come pick up, basically. It's just to prevent, like, robbery and stuff, basically. But, because you have to dump things... Dump cash very often, it means that you run out of... Uh, your bills that you could use for giving change. Let's say if someone brings a hundred in and you put all your twenties into the safe because you have a ton of change, then suddenly you don't have anything to do with... You just can't do anything. It's like, well, I could give you $50 in loonies and four or fives. Not really any other choice, but... Which is why it sucks so much when people pay for, like, in extremely large bills. When the bill doesn't... When, like, the order... Ideally, when you pay with cash, your order should cover the majority of the amount that the bill is worth. So, if you're going to pay with 100 try to buy at least, like... $51 worth, kind of thing. $60 worth. It matters way more for bigger bills, like 50s and 100s. 20s don't matter as much. I mean... Ideally, you would want to at least be buying like $5 worth of stuff to use a 20, but... Most people use 20s anyways for everything, so... Because that's what comes out of most ATMs around here. Oh, I'm e I slept well too. It's not even it's not even like I'm just not getting good sleep. Like genuinely I am. It's just I don't know, I've been changing around how my life works lately a bit. I've been trying to I, I tend to do a lot of mental work, which takes a lot of one particular type of energy. So stuff on the computer usually. And I do physical stuff, like I do exercise every day because I have dogs, but not a huge amount. And I'm trying to move some of my fun, like, emotional energy activities to be physical energy, to like balance my life a bit better, to see if that helps me with uh, having energy to do things, and just generally being happy. And, uh, the, uh, well, the thing about changing your life is, uh, it can be a bit tiring at the start, as you are trying to figure your shit out, and, well, uh, it's at the start, so I'm tired. Yep. 
Man, setting everything to, like, rounded prices is very convenient. The day ends at 9 p.m., so we're, as you can see in the top right, we're almost at the end of the day. Uh, I'm going to have customers who will be kind of unhappy with me because they're going to be leaving without uh, some of the stuff they want, but I don't care. It's the first day. It's better to just wait till your day ends and then stock then. Because if you put thing, if you put things on new, sh new products on the shelf that have never been there, they start at uh, the price you pay for them. Which means that they will be and my brain stalled. They start at the price that you paid for them, meaning that someone will buy them for whatever for like really, really cheap. Whatever you paid. With the products that you like already have, it's different. So, when it hits 9, you can end the day anytime you want. You just have to hit close and hit enter to end the day. Oh! Despite the fact that we ran out of pretty much everything at the end, there was not a single customer unhappy. Cool. Okay, we now have bills. You get bills every day. Uh, if you do not pay them by the due date, they will be paid automatically. Okay, so it's 8 a.m., which is when the day starts. You have infinite time in the morning to do whatever the hell you want. So it is good to take... to make as much use of that as you can. I don't have the cereal yet at all. I had a second box of that. Add more bread, add more flour. Yes, I can afford that, okay. No, I can't, because of tax. When you, uh, when you order things, you pay, you pay a shipping fee. If you just keep ordering, like, things one at a time, it will cost you way more in the end. So, I try to do bulk orders where possible. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we don't get bills day two. Bread. 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 I wish I could have a trash can inside, so I don't have to go outside every single time, but... Hello, hello Cynthia Roberts. Welcome to, this tra to the channel. I am doing great today. How are you? <laughs> Hi, Han. I'm only on day two. I have a baby store. I don't know if I answered. I am doing well today. How are you? Hi. Are you a supermarket simulator person? Uh... Nine minutes. <laughs> I've played a bit before this point, but I mean, I restarted since I'm doing it for the channel instead. I've watched a bunch on YouTube. It's a fun game. I'm kind of tired today, so I figured I'd just do something really chill.
It's great. I love it. It's not u my usual type of game, admittedly. I am a dungeon crawler, survival, sandbox kind of person. So I play a lot of Path of Exile, um, Dead Rising, The Forest, Seven Days to Die, etc. But no. no, 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 no. This is the first time I played this game on the channel. And the channel's a year and a half old, I think, now? I'm mainly a Path of Exile channel. But I'm on a hiatus from Path, just because... I'm not happy with how things have been going in the game. Just with my builds, though. I'm gonna be reworking that quietly in the background. So y'all don't have to watch me do it. And I will be coming back with Path content when I'm more... Content with what I have. Online games? If you mean games where you actually interact with other human beings, not so much. I mean, technically, Path of Exile is an MMORPG, but... It, not really. <laughs> Wait, something's wrong. That has zero in it. Or that had a one in it. That's not right. Aha! I didn't set the price of chocolate pick. That's why. Is everyone else good? Yeah, okay, we're good. But no, I mainly play single player games, to be honest. Uh, RPG is a role playing game, and an MMO RPG is a massively multiplayer online role playing game. World of Warcraft, uh, World of Tanks, uh, I'm trying to think of, like, other good examples. YouTube! One of my favorite YouTubers plays it. Last stream I was playing The Forest, and I have to say, getting punched in the face by a baby who lunged at me out of the dark really kind of took its toll, <laughs> which is why I'm taking a break. I'm, I, I need a little break from mutants and deformed babies and burning them alive and such. I just want something real chill. If you want a better concept of uh, the type of content that I do, you can check out my YouTube channel at Black Hat Studio. Hey, but this is this game's worth buying. I've enjoyed the time I've spent watching it. I've enjoyed the time I've spent playing it. I, th I think it's worth the money. It's uh, seventeen dollars Canadian, so probably like twelve American. Actually, no, they're probably gouging you at fifteen. I've been on Twitch since. 15 months, I think. I started uh, not this May, but last May, I believe. I'm but a small channel. This small kitty making my way in the world. Oh wow, flower is really in demand. I'll be streaming other games. So I stream uh, every Tuesday, Thursday at 2.30 p.m. PST, 5.30 p.m. EST. And then I put out videos 
five times a week on at Black Cat Studio, and my stream VODs go out on at Black Cat Stream twice a week on YouTube. But I will be streaming uh, more of the forest coming up. I will be streaming Path of Exile eventually, and we've been watching. We've been playing a whole bunch of Dead Rising. Oops, wrong button. Dead Rising 2, which is going up on the channel as a Let's Play. On in chat and I have been doing uh, uh, Dead Rising 2 together, so it's been fun. I have not tried. Uh, have we tried any other simulator games? Hmm. I don't think so. No. I'm not really a simulator game person, honestly. This just game just happens to... I don't know. It's simple enough to me that I can just chill out and play it and not really think much about it. Like, I've, I've watched people play brief amounts of Euro Truck Simulator or, like, Farming Simulator or things like that, and they always seem really complicated. <laughs> like, they're trying to be as realistic as possible. And I, I don't really want realism in my games, to be honest. I just want to chill. Or I want to blow things up. I don't own any consoles. I have a pretty powerful computer. There's not really a point having a console. I respect that other people like to play on consoles, and they like the experience of playing in a living room with a TV. I, it's not my thing. I will very rarely use a controller for certain games, like Overcooked 2. That game is definitely better with a controller, but most games I am a PC keyboard and mouse player. I don't have the built-up skill to use a controller with any efficiency, so I just end up, I don't know, being really inefficient, and I don't like that. Oh, the specs for this game can't be anything, really. I can only imagine it's small. Let's see. Uh, four gigs of RAM. It's five gigs of hard drive space. It runs like a dream, but that's not really saying anything because I have a powerful computer. You can probably run it on one gig. No, I think I'm probably going to go for about three hours, so another two and a half hours, most likely. Most of my streams sit somewhere between three and four hours. Sometimes I call it a bit early, like two and a half, if I'm tired. I am tired, but I... Th I don't think this is the type of game where I'll be spending a huge amount of energy, so I'll probably play this for a while. Let's see. Okay, I need bread and flour. Bread, flour, and I need susu and I need some more oil. The oil, there we go, and poiches. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, feel free to follow the channel if you like it. Love to have you if you enjoy it. You can enjoy my deranged commentary. Oh! Thank you for the raid, Chill and Trying. I am not familiar with your channel. I really appreciate it, though. Welcome, raiders. Awesome. Glad to see so many cool people. I I am a Twitch streamer. I do also do YouTube, but I split my time between the two. I do five videos a week on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday on YouTube. 
and I do two streams a week at 2.30 p.m. PST, 5.30 p.m. EST on Tuesdays and Fridays. How do I drop? G. G for drop, right. Oh, silly of me. No, thanks. How's your supermarket going? You been getting really pretty far? Nightbot, you really don't have to go that hard. I'll take some more pasta. Nice! So you're pretty fucking far in there. Have you named your shop yet? Okay, thanks for coming, Cynthia. Have a great day. It was very kind of you to raid, though. I really appreciate it. Yep, slowly trying to build up the channel. I really like streaming, and I really like... Work, doing stuff on YouTube, so I'm trying to find a happy medium. Nice. How fast are the self checkouts? I've been, I haven't seen, I haven't actually had a chance to see it yet. I've watched some of this on YouTube, and I've watched friends play this, so... Ooh, how does it compare to having someone checking out your... your like, having a uh, cashier? Because the cashiers seem really, really slow. Cool. Well, I mean, e even if it's on par, it's still going to be better since you don't have to pay someone every day, so not bad. I know that the self-checkouts are more expensive, but like in the long run, I feel like it would, it would definitely save you money quickly. Huh. Hm. I mean, that's pretty good. Ooh, since you play this game too, uh, I I want to note this because I found it really cool. So you know how customers will complain if the price is, off, is like too expensive or whatever? I've set all my prices to even numbers. And like they're overpaying for, for sugar by a little bit. And there was one they were really overpaying by. Or was it? Or has it changed? Yeah, they're overpaying 29 cents for flour, but I've yet to have a single... Oh, they're paying overpaying 50 cents for oil, and I've yet to have a single person complain. I was really surprised. Maybe they're just not as demanding yet? It just... It makes everything so easy, right? It's so nice. Do you have any tips for me? Since you're the uh, veteran player. <laughs> oh, fuck. I didn't even see him there. <laughs> That's fair. Have you... Not to keep asking you questions, but I have yet to notice any actual impact of unhappy customers on... on, like, anything. Like, maybe it's not implemented yet? Or maybe I just don't understand what, what negative reviews give you? Or don't give you? Like, it's not told me anything about, uh... 
about people being negative having an effect, so... Hey, I should have builds today. That was all paid up. Get more licenses. I absolutely don't want the first product, product license. I don't know why they put this as the first one when it's has a bunch of refrigerated shit in it. It feels like it shouldn't be the very first thing. Oh, I think it might be in a later update. I think you don't have any competition, so it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't actually need to remember to pay them as long as you always have enough money. Technically, if you don't... I don't know when they get paid. When, like, they get paid automatically. Like, if it's before you stock or however that works. But if you always leave a, uh, a float... Not a float. If you always leave a buffer of the amount your bills are worth, technically you could just always ignore them. I pay them on I pay them manually just because I'm a control freak and I really like to know exactly how much is going on, but Yep, they auto pay. It's when their due date comes up they auto pay. Yeah, no, they won't. They won't just get. They won't let you get away with uh, <laughs> with just not paying. <laughs> oh, it's one of these fucks. Paying with a fucking hundred for a sixteen dollar thing. We hate you. We hate people like you. Yeah. I don't know I don't know if you've actually worked retail before, but I have worked retail before and trying to break hundreds is like an act of concern. <laughs> I've definitely had to turn people away being like, I don't have any I don't have the change for you. Do you want fifty do you want fifty loonies? That's the best I can do. Oh, uh. Wants me to buy a product license. I definitely do not want to buy the refrigerated product license first. Fuck that. Do you have a streaming schedule, Chill? I'll try and check out one of your streams if I can. If it fits into my schedule. Oh, right. It's enter. On Nolan chat actually taught me something really cool that I love. As long as you're able to like interact with something, you can teleport to it. So I can just teleport around very easily or teleport over to here. You can actually like you can just like teleport over to here. Like you don't even have to go all the way around. You can just do this. I know here. I love that. I would like to buy the shelving slash fridge units before the license. Okay, yeah, yep, yeah, that makes sense. 
I do want to add some more shelving. So I think I'll do that today. Furniture. Furnitures? Oh, the company that makes this must be ESL. Or, yeah. It must not be, like, uh, made by a native English speaker, because furniture is a singular and plural word. Oh, this is how you set the colors. Cool. Eh. Eh. There we go. Oh, it's so cute and blue. I was ready to stop by on a Monday then. Mondays are just uh, upload days for me, so. I mean, usually, any, well, I mean, I usually do stuff on Mondays too, but I should be able to make it. Actually, wait, before I do this. I make I change this at all. The six products I could do a massive amount of each. Okay, so that works. Okay, so none of that works. Yeah, I, I'm gonna try though. Okay, so I have a big box now. I need a small box. Give me a choco pick box and an oil box. Are you. Do you know if you can. Um use paint on shelves like it's kind of ugly now that i don't that my other shelves are the wrong wrong color and i don't know if you i don't think you can sell the shelves i move this now this yes Is everything? Yeah, everything's about the way that I want it to be now. Okay, so I have two different types of boxes now. I'll keep those. Okay, now I can stock up a lot. So I can take three sugars, three flowers. I can take two bread. Uh, let's grab one pass and one oil, just because I don't want to... I want to make sure I have enough... Wait, what? Oh, you can only have so many items. Okay. Pasta, one oil. Did I get sugar? I've already forgotten. I'll, I'll figure it out. I really like this outfit. It's very simple, but I like this. Oh my gosh, she even has a red hair tie. That's so cute. 
Okay, I'll stop getting distracted. Alright, this is a new type of box. Weird that drop is G. That throws me off. <laughs> Oh, wait, I can do that thing where I throw stuff. I don't care if their bread gets squished. No, not that. Okay. Hey, I'm just happy you came at all. Hope you have good food. Hey, more bread. I am the bread feet. Fuck this place up with bread. The bread fucker. Wait, no. No, let's not say it that way. <laughs> uh, it is unfortunate I can't mark the stream as mature manually. Or if there's a way, I don't know. Okay, so I need two more oil and two more taco. Oil, taco. Oh no, I don't have enough. Mare? No. Mare? Mare. Mare. That works. I have a stupid idea. I'm gonna start chucking boxes into the road. And I wonder what size of pile can I make <laughs> before the game has a problem with me. I have all my... All my random boxes. There. There. And I'll put you there. Can I grab... Okay, cool. I can actually just grab things like that. Wait, can I just... I can just throw it right. I forgot. My bills yet. Eh. Probably. I think I paid them before I did all this shit. Oh, that's weird. I didn't realize if you alt-tab, it freezes time. That's real weird. Thank you. 
people buy a lot of oil. I buy a bottle of oil, and it lasts for, like, six months. <laughs> Hey, you missed your twin. They're slowly adding more and more models to this game, and eventually we're actually going to have enough models that you won't be consistently seeing twins of things. Hey, Ron! Welcome to the stream. We're playing Supermarket Simulator today. I'm having a chill stream. Because I'm EP. Changing, changing your, I don't know what I would call it. Changing how you, like, the sets of things that you do regularly. I guess that'd be routine. Changing your routine is exhausting. I'm pretty happy, though. I went for a walk in nature today. I don't usually do that. That was pretty nice. Mind you drink water, everyone. I was about to say that her outfit looks nice until I saw her soulless eyes, and I'm like, well, that's unsettling. Customers will leave. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. For the very first time, we had a customer say that uh, something was too expensive for them. Oh shit, I haven't been paying attention to what prices change in the, the mornings. Should be checking that. Did this price change much? No, it's the same. Okay, so they're just complaining about the exact same thing I've had for a while. Oh my gosh, I hear a big wolf boy in the background. Romeo's excited about something. I don't know what my best selling product is so far. Weirdly enough, I think it's flour. That doesn't make a huge amount of sense. Especially in such an urban setting. Bread making is kind of like something that people do when they have time. Usually in urban settings, people have way less time. Because unfortunately, you gotta work your butt off so that you have enough money to afford living there. And making bread will not save you enough money for it to matter. Yeah, I, I think it just makes the NPCs pick up, like, a selection of random items, more or less. I think 
if I were to guess, the way that they do it is it's like a 1 in 10... Okay. They have like a 1 in 10 chance that they pick up 3 of an item, a 2 in 10 chance that they pick up 2, a 3 in 10 chance that they pick up 1, and a 4 in 10 chance they pick up nothing of an item, and then they just go through the list. I think that's how I would do the RNG for this at least. Do I need to close the shop? Can I just... Alright. Oh no, Ron, your sliced bread went down in price. That's oh, 328. Okay. I think pasta went up? No, oh, that's still close enough. I don't want to deal with cents. Doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. One sugar, two choco pick. And I want two pasta. And two oil. Two flour. And one bread? Well, I can only take ten items anyway, so we'll see where we fit after this. Boxes just go through people. Food. But I want to bean someone with a box full of bread. It's my kink. What type of video game is this that I can't express myself as a player? <laughs> Satisfying sound. Filling the shelves. You know, I tech I can just go up to the garbage and throw them out, but I'm seeing how big a pile I can make. You know, just to be a public menace. I could actually deal with the problem instead of just throwing them out there, but where's the fun in that when I can just raise hell instead? It's like the very, very reason for my existence is to raise hell. Didn't let the world off so easily as to not have to deal with me. <laughs> Jeff. Market. In. A the bells. There's a big box. Rotate. Oh, that's going to bother me. There we go. Now it's flush. Okay. That's just for future stuff. Oh, 
Also, I found out something. The... This tree here has a bounding box. Now, what that means is that instead of, like, like it has collision, you can interact with it and move around it. Now, what that also means is you can climb it. I figured that out by being flung up into the tree by a van because I was fucking around. Damn it. I hit a branch. I'm trying to parkour. Maybe I should go into a different part of the tree. Oh, that's not that doesn't have collision. I okay, know, I can't jump far enough. Oh, because I wasn't sprinting, okay. Oh, I can do this. I can I get out of bounds? Wait, hold on a second. I need to save this. Cat climbing a tree, of course. Hey! I It's rude because it's true. No! God damn it! Oh, the air conditioner doesn't have collision. Shit. Um. Hmm. Maybe the fire escape does. Here, get. Who left all these boxes out there? What? An incon inconvenient dickhead. Consider it inconvenient. Ooh, okay, it does have collision. But does it have collision? Is it fully collision mapped out? As in, like, just like a rectangle? Or can I actually jump in between and climb it? I really am enjoying climbing simu- I mean, supermarket simulator. Okay. Hmm, I'm hitting the top area. Oh my gosh, it has proper collision. Oh, wait, what? Oh. Okay, that doesn't. It has somewhat proper collision. Okay, so these ladders aren't actually there. The ladder ladders don't have collision. Oh! Okay, so now I understand. The rails don't have collision either. So these are just like these are just two-dimensional rectangle or two-dimensional rectangles here. Hello, Lemon Cloud GT. Welcome to the channel. I'm figuring out what I can break in Supermarket Simulator. <laughs> okay, no, ow. Whatever, I should actually run my supermarket. You know, the thing that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm an adult. Hmm... Well, hello, Lemon. Bang. Done. I meant. How are you doing today? This man looks like he just ate a lemon. Oh no, run Lemon Cloud. He's after you. This is the man. This this is your enemy. I'm just sitting here bobbing to the music. Complete 100 checkouts all on your own. Consider hiring a cashier. That 
Yeah, consider hiring a cashier too. I'm gonna 100% this game, seeing as it only has three achievements. Check out 50 people, check out 100 people, and get all expansions. Oh no, this game is lulling me into, like, a really calm mode, rather than... Dream mode. Oh, actually, I need to move over the... Okay, something's a bit... not good. To change where the bounding box is. Over... Uh, is that? There we go. Submit. Cool. Now you'll be able to actually like, properly see the uh, the AM, PM, and the uh, dollars and cents. Seriously, why do people buy two flour? I barely use one flour. <laughs> Maybe I should be using my numpad. I do have a numpad. And I do use it regularly. I just don't use it for this game yet. There's... I know there's a locked door here. I don't know what it's to, and I've been wondering that for a while, because I've seen people unlock the storage in this game, and that's not the storage. Which confuses me. These are just all flat sizes. Oh, I see why it's a big deal to unlock all the expansions. This, or on, like, all the expansions to your store. This is 160,000. Hmm. hmm. I want to get storage soon. Oh well, not important yet. Oh yeah, that is really fast with my numpad. Love that. This is going to be day... F I think this is day four. I wonder if there's a way to check what day you're on without seeing it just at the end of the day. I know you see what day you're on at the end of the day with, like, the whole Bailey summary, but... 
Hmm. Nee. It's last minute customers. Okay, so you can't use the numpad for this. Okay, so that was day five. Okay. So we are going to go on a quick few minute break. This is a good chance to get up and get water and stretch and stuff. Go to the washroom while uh, the ads are playing. Uh, I need to play ads so I can cancel up the pre-rolls. And then we will be back in a few minutes with more Supermarket Simulator. See you soon. And welcome back. Day six of Supermarket Simulator. Hope you all got a chance to get some water and stuff. Hydration is very important. Choco Pick went down, Susu went up. Eh, it's so fine. Eh, it should be good. Okay. So I definitely need two more flour. Two more oil. Two flour, two oil, three pasta. I need two su and two choco pick. the other one out. And more pasta. Hmm. I think 
I'm good for the day. Yeah, let's say I'm good for the day. Oh, I wish I could stop yawning. Oh my gosh. I made such a nice lunch today. It wasn't even that complicated. I got a salmon filet from the grocery store. I just had it, like, drizzled in teriyaki, and uh, I have a... Um, if you don't have a cooking thermometer already, and you ever cook meat for any reason, meat or fish, you need a cooking thermometer. Because otherwise, it's all just guesswork whether... It's warm enough inside, so you usually overcook it, which is what I used to do. But you only need to get... You need to get, um... A lot of, like, the more, uh... Um... The more, like, disease-prone meats to get 165 degrees. Mainly chicken. Salmon, or fish in general, is only 135 degrees. That's a whole 30 degree difference. And if you are able to actually cook it properly to the temperature it's supposed to be cooked to, rather than like just guessing at it because you don't have a thermometer to check, it's it's so much better. It's so nice and like kind of like fall off the bone kind of awesome. Highly, highly would suggest a cooking thermometer if you don't already have one. They're not incredibly expensive, I find, and they are amazing. One of those little things where, like, you don't need it. You can cook just fine without it, but you will make better food with it. Just because you know what temperature things are. You can cook very precisely, and I'm definitely the type of person who likes to be very precise with... Everything. But it makes me very happy being able to cook, like, precisely. I actually missed the mark a little bit, and it hit, uh, 145 in the middle instead of 135, which was a bit sad, because I was hoping to, to get it, like, really, really tender. But, oh, it was still so good. Just slathered in teriyaki sauce, marinate it, oh. Well, not marinated. It was just done in the pan, but... It's so good. Hey, I have $420. Yay. My internet number. You're a new model. I haven't seen you before. He's a bit, uh, oh. Okay, until I saw it from, uh, from his side profile, he was a bit, uh, nano machine, son. But now he's just, like, teacher who's had enough of your shit. Metal Gear Solid, uh, or Metal Gear Rise? Metal Gear Solid Revengeance? Is that the full name of it? It's such a crazy, such a crazy game to watch. I don't think I would enjoy it personally, but it is so, 
Oh my gosh, it's it's an old game now, but it was. It really felt like they had a message to share with the game. And they didn't succeed. <laughs> like, they really wanted this, like, war is not the way. Um, also, you're murdering people, like, brutally. But also, let's save the orphans. But also, we need to dissect these people brutally in real time. It was a very confused game. It had its heart in the right place. The sound design, though, that was out of this world. Even people who haven't uh, played Metal Gear Solid... Uh, Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Right. I don't fucking know. Uh, Revengeance. Even people who haven't played the game prop, like, still will often know Rules of Nature, which is one of its, like, main really good, uh, like, metal tracks. Oh. I'd play it, but... A, it would ruin the vibe of what we're going for today. And B... I feel like I'm going to get copyright struck if I do. Miss, I like your hair. Very... Actually, it's very Lego, now that I look at it. <laughs> you, I would hate you if this was real life. For coming in after nine. Oh my gosh, the, the people who come in... Like, right, like, a minute before closing, they're like, You still open? Yes, unfortunately, we are. And then they want to, like, browse the entire catalog, look at the whole menu, just like... Dude! Dude! I get in trouble for every minute past closing time I am here. And that's not a joke. Okay, so we need a whole bu a fuck ton of flour. Oil and cereal went up, pasta and flour went down. So, I don't care. Cereal, I can put up to seven now. No, I'm just gonna check all of them because I can't remember the pricing that it said. Oh, this went way down. Uh, okay, I should be good. Need more taco pick. Welcome back. Uh, I talked about cooking salmon for a while. <laughs> That's what happened. Okay, I need two pasta. Aw, thank you for the follow, Chill. I appreciate it. Every fellow helps. I need one oil and I need three flour. Or I forget. And I need one more. Bread. Nope, that's chocolate pick. You know what? Sure, I'll just take extra chocolate pick, whatever. So I don't cook as much as I would like to. I try to I have I am trying really hard to cook more than I have in the past. Uh, pure, purely the reason why I don't cook is depression. Like, that's usually the reason why I'm not cooking, is because depression. Uh, but when I'm not depressed, 
I actually really do enjoy cooking when I'm not, like, starving and it's just, like, I just need something to put it in my mouth so I don't die. Like, when I'm not in that mode, I actually really enjoy it. I'm not, like, I'm not gonna say I am, like, a Michelin star chef or anything, but I'm, I'm pretty confident in, like, the few things I know how to do. I got, uh, when I was in a bit better financial situation, I got, uh, some, what are they called? I ordered some, like, meal box. Like, the meal boxes were, let's be like, oh, you can, uh, just, just, uh, say, say which, uh, stuff you want, like, which meals you want, and we'll send you the ingredients for all of them. And those meal boxes actually helped a lot with me learning how to cook more and better meals. Because I just saved uh, the recipes that I liked that they gave me. And I just made them again and again and again. And I have an entire uh, binder, like a three ring binder, where I kept a log of all the uh, recipes that I liked. And I continue to use that to this day. I also learned from it that I do not use enough salt and pepper in a lot of things. And also, uh, like, if it's not uh, processed or anything like that. If it's not processed, it's just like you're just cooking veggies, you're just cooking, like, unmarinated meat and stuff. It's often really worth it to put... Well, as far as I can tell, it is always worth it to put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper in everything. Uh, and I say this as someone with very, very low spice tolerance, so... I'm not saying that just because I, I don't taste pepper or anything. But, uh, for those who don't know... Salt, in small quantities, actually accentuates sugar and makes it, uh... Yes, it does. Salt actually accentuates flavor, or accentuates, um, sugar, and it makes it taste like there is more sugar in it. So things like caramelized onions, if you add, if you, if you're making onions, add a little bit of salt to it, and they will be sweeter than normal. It really brings out their flavor, which is great. Also, if you add salt to water you're boiling, it lowers the... Uh, temperature that you need it to get to to boil. It's because it, it scientifically it lowers the boiling point of water, which means that it boils faster. Oh my gosh. Um, there is one meal that I consistently. Oh my gosh, there's actually a few I, I consistently make. Uh, so there is, there's one that I probably make the most out of all of them, and it is a, uh, nan bread panini. Uh, so basically what you do is you just get a, uh, you just get a tray, put out, um, rain, come on, put out aluminum foil, just put out, uh, zucchini, red pepper, uh, uh onions, just any type of veggies that, like, you really like to have grilled. Just add some spices, add some oil, bake them in the oven, and then you can add them to, uh, nan bread that you've added pesto to, and just, like, use that as the filling, and it's so good. That was, like, a hyper-simplified explanation, but, like, it is really, really fucking good. There's another one where um, you basically use uh, tortillas to make what kind of what kind of resembles a pie, where like you put tortillas and then you put stuff in it and like like you lay them down and you put stuff in the middle and then you put another tortilla and then you put more stuff in the middle and you put another tortilla and you put more stuff in the middle, and you just keep doing that till basically you have a mound, and. You can take the, uh, it's, the filling that it suggests is just, like, 
a ton of shredded carrot, which is weird. It sounds really fucking weird. A ton of shredded carrot mixed in with ground beef. And it actually doesn't taste like carrot at all. It just like it it just basically makes the ground beef go farther. And then you bake it all with cheese and stuff. And Yeah, basically. And then you cut it like you're cutting a pie or a cake. And you take slices of it and you just have it with uh sour cream or whatever you like to have it with. Yeah, kind of like lasagna, yeah. Except for it's not in a a uh, bakeware thing. It's just like on a uh, in like a mound. But you could totally put it in a bakeware thing like that and just bake it that way. Oh my gosh, I haven't had that in so long. I need to make that again because I remember, like, I was so weirded out by the fact that it that it had carrot in it. And I'm not talking a small amount of carrot. I mean like shredded like three large carrots with half a pound of ground beef. Like, it's a lot. But it just... But when you mix it in, it just kind of disappears, weirdly enough. I found that really, really good. And, like, if that is a meal that goes far. You busy? You have mental health issues, etc.? Cook in bulk. Find meals that you can make a lot of at once. And it will help for those days that you feel like shit. When, like, your mental health issues are kicking your ass and it's just like, I am too depressed to do anything. Oh, wait. Yesterday, I cooked a uh, nice big meal that I can have, like, four, four servings of or something. It's, it's very, very nice. I do that all the time with pasta, because, yeah. Oh, while you were gone, Chill, the thing that I was, like, raving about was uh, having a meat thermometer. If you don't have a meat thermometer, you should absolutely get a meat thermometer. They are amazing. If you eat meat. Or fish. I also have a little diagram on my fridge. Or not diagram, but, like, a little chart on my fridge of exactly what temperature each meat needs to get to to be safe. So I can just bring it just up to that temperature or to your preference, whatever. And it can be really, really nice. Yeah, because usually to make meat safe, you o you actually overcook it because you don't know for sure, unless you're, like, really, really good at cooking. Or at least I always overcooked it, and then I just got a fucking meat thermometer for $15 on Amazon, and I was like, okay, this is great, because now I can, like, you just have get this little spike thingy that you poke in, and it just tells you exactly what the temperature is. so good it is besides like spatulas and pans it is the cooking utensil i use the most oh yeah that's fair well i mean the temperature that you need to get meat to doesn't change so if you get like free instructions in something then yeah that's perfect don't need to buy anything well okay you still need to buy the actual thermometer but like yeah got it that is probably one of the best things i've bought for my kitchen yeah Our, there should be our, uh, yeah, definitely. There should be a link to our Discord server in the, uh, description of, of this channel. If you join the Discord server, I will take a picture of, some, like, a couple of these recipes and, set, and, like, post them in general chat for you. If you really want me to. Because I don't mind sharing, like, some of the most awesome food I've ever had. I'm 
only just starting to realize after talking about this how much I actually really do enjoy cooking. And I forget about that constantly. Because I just spend so much time just, like, anxious and I need to eat or I'm depressed and I just, I just can't fucking force myself to cook something. And just, it makes it so hard to remember that I actually do enjoy it. I shortchanged someone? Oh. Oops. Has to win a... Uh, I don't care. Okay, let me get another shelf. Death. Man, two dollars to ship a shelf? That is the dream. There we go. Okay, so if I still use the four... The, uh... This method, then I can put four more things out. <laughs> yeah. No! 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 <laughs> Damn it! Arr. Oh, now this is gonna look awful. I hate this. I hate this so much. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I know it'll get better. I'm just annoyed. Oh, not that. No, 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 no. Mike. Okay. Okay, there. That'll help a little bit. Let's the box up. Give me another corner shelf. And I'm spending all my money right now, but it'll be worth it in the end anyways. Oh, oops. Are you kidding me? Or are you kidding me? Why is there so much space? I hate this. I hate this so much. All right, I can't place it in my face. How silly of me. That's yeah, fine. Uh, no, I'm not collecting empty boxes. I'm just piling them out here because I'm wondering how much the game will let me get away with before it has a problem with me. <laughs> like, I could totally throw it out. I totally could. But I'm not. <laughs> just because I'm a shit disturber. I 
I just have, like, some natural gremlin energy. Basically, yeah. There we go. That'll help to some extent. Actually, wait. I could turn this, maybe. Huh. That might not be so bad. Might also be terrible. We'll find out. Okay, so now that I have, like, way less money, now to actually stock the store. Okay, I need sliced bread, since that is the best thing. Since. Three flour. I need two oil. I need two pasta. I need... Two susu. Oh, also, the reason why I'm expanding right now is because I'm getting ready to get another product license. And I'm, like, trying to prepare the shop for it. I have no plans yet as to which license. I'm just going to get whatever license is not refrigerated first. So probably whatever the second license is. Because I don't really want to do refrigerated yet. I'll probably do refrigerated after I expand the store. So I still have room for another bread. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of expected that that would be the case, but... doesn't match the box size. Box size is this, this one. Oh, I can do another chocolate pick. The bike has a bounding box. Interesting. Cleaning products. Interesting. Uh, okay, let's open this. So if I go to product license. Uh, I think I'm getting this one. I assume I'm just going to get this one next. Peanut butter, flour, olive oil, spaghetti, basmati rice, and salt. Yeah, that all can go on the shelf.
Yeah, I see the cleaning products. Yeah, pretty much everything is mixed, as you said. Oh, sushi. Oh god, this man's very angry looking. Well, I'm very angry at him now. For the hundred. For a nine dollar product. Bitch! I might get two expansions at the same time so I can just expand this linearly. What do you mean by sass them? Because, I mean, like, they can't hear you. <laughs> Or is there... Oh, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I mean, if you work in retail, you can ask the customers still. <laughs> and you just need to do it after they leave. <laughs> like, look at that little bitch over there that gave me a hundred for a three dollar pack of fucking gum. What a little bitch. I was about to say pussy, and then I was like... Yeah, that's actually a bit sexist. I, I don't like. I don't like. You don't like using pussy as a term. As like an insult, I mean. Yes, it is nice to be able to trash talk them without consequences. I definitely trash talk a lot of creatures in the games that I play just because. I know I can get away with it. <laughs> you threatened to revoke their memberships and like, it's like, I will take your gym membership out of your wallet and I will rip it up. <laughs> you don't even have a membership with me. I will destroy, I will destroy your Costco card. Um... Oh, right, okay. First time I overpaid. Or overplaced money. I'll, I'll find all of them and they will burn. <laughs> oh, yes. I just love, I just love to imagine, like, you walk into a grocery store and they're just like, you have a, you have a membership with another grocery store? Burn! <laughs> oh. It's like that, it's like that feeling that you get when you walk into a grocery store with a bag, a reusable bag that's branded to a different grocery store. But in real, but like, actually... That is a lot of boobage. Ooh. Tattoo? Oh, that is a cute tattoo. Hold on. What the fuck? Did anyone else notice the way she was walking? <laughs> I was, like, following her because she was walking, like, like a duck, with her feet, her, like, toes pointed out. Felt very unnatural. Oh. 
Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess we probably will see a twin at some point. Keep, keep your eye out. Ah, it's Lemon Man again. Every time I see the bottle that the ill is in, it always makes me think of lemons. I assume because of the color and shape. And also because there is a lemon bottle, like there's like a um, lemon extract or whatever. Uh, like there's like a lemon juice bottle you can buy in bulk around here. It does look very drinkable, doesn't it? So it's canola. I assume it's canola oil, which wouldn't be amazing to drink. I mean, I don't think it would harm you or anything, but... I mean, you used canola oil in food, so... I assume it won't harm you. Well, that was weird. He got to the... to the... He got to the cache first and then stopped in that spot for this AI to walk in front of him. That's some real racist shit there. I don't want to take your money. In reality, I think the uh, first AI just reserved the spot before. They must reserve the spot as soon as they're done with picking up the items they want. As soon as they choose their path, like they, like it sets a spot in line for them. Yeah, the olive oil does look like... Wait. You mean that oil or the other olive oil? Yay! That's the one up. I don't care. Actually, that's... You know what? I'm gonna try doing $4. Oh, that's well, see, here's the thing. Olive oil comes now. Oh shit, I've been forgetting to pay the bills. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, you know what? I'm, that's a problem for tomorrow, cat. Okay. Oh shit! I'm out of money. Out of money to buy more stuff. I want to get a little bit of each. Get rice? I did get rice. I guess it's one of each of six. Okay, I'll put this out here. Uh, I can set items, but the problem is that it sets all of the items of the same type to that. So I don't really want to upset all of my customers on one particular item that they can never buy. And I assure you, they won't buy it, because I have seen- I have literally watched someone do that exact same thing, and it has not worked. Okay, past and flow. A bit more of that, and some more bread. Oh, I could get more salt, maybe. Nope, not Bosmondi rice. Might be able to get peanut butter? Nope, too much. I'm 
Can I afford more oil? I can take more oil. Can I afford more oil? Yes, just barely. Wait. Was it overcast? It was a bit overcast. Huh. Loan time? Or what? You mean to, like, finish stocking this door fully? Hmm. I don't think if I want to do that, because... It would be better to take the time during the day to stock things than it would be to, to make loan payments. Generally, I don't like doing... If I saw a clear method of making money, it would be different. But I don't think I'm going to... I don't think it's worth it. Just like in real life, if I don't see a clear method of making money with a loan, I'm not going to, to take a loan out. Like, I'm probably going to take a loan out at some point to... Uh redo the roof on my house, and, like, that's because, A, I need to, and, oh, fuck. I forgot to set the price. And B, because it will make me money when I sell the house. Which probably won't be forever from now. As I would like to move to a more urban area. I mean, if I get the money to do so. That is a very money-dependent thing. Not exactly rich. I would very much like to finish flipping this house. Well, not that I'm, I'm not that I'm necessarily flipping this house. I mean, I live here, but I'm upgrading the things that I know will will have a big return on money, and then I'm going to sell so I can move over to some place I like a bit more and start fixing that up. Not that I know anything about like, construction or well, okay, I do know some stuff, but like. Not that I do the fixing up myself, but... <laughs> My father's a contractor, so I'm very used to the concept of, like, what you need to buy, like, what is worth upgrading in a house to make it worth more money. I shouldn't just say a contractor. He's a successful contractor, though. Uh, flower and peanut. I can take oil and spaghetti. Can I get oil right now? And. Oh, there's a, um. There were some uh, decent uh, grant opportunities at some point in the past few years near where I live for some upgrades to my house. 
and I was actually able to do like some pretty expensive upgrades for a very reasonable price. Ones that I really, really needed at the time. Um, and those are going to really, really make bank when I go to sell. Having a heat pump is really, really nice. I was on, like, fucking, like, diesel oil before that, which is not good for economic reasons and for environmental reasons. I fucking love heat bumps. I didn't realize how awesome they are. Until I actually read up on what the fuck a heat pump is. I'm such a good little adult talking about house heating and cooking food efficiently. <laughs> Ugh. God, I'm 30, and, like, I'm still, like, I don't know how to pretend to be an adult. <laughs> oh, I feel like that, I don't. I don't know when that feeling of I'm not an adult goes away. I don't know if it ever does go away. Okay, this is now the second time a white guy has cut in front of a black guy. That bothers me. You, sir, if weren't if you weren't an, an AI, I would tell you to get to the back of the fucking line. Oh my god, I've definitely had to do that when working retail. Like, someone's like, I've been like talking to a customer and they've like walked up and been like, Hey, so I want to get this thing. And I'm like, okay, I will serve you after this person. You know, the person you walked in front of. I don't say the second part, obviously. Because you have to be friendly to people, even if they're assholes. Flour. Free spaghetti. Susu, other flour. No, pasta. I want more salt. It's amazing how entitled some random people can be. Just like, holy shit. It's not that hard to wait in line. No one wants to wait in line, but we all do it. Because it's the right thing to do. You can do it too. It's not hard. No matter where you are going, there is no good reason that you need to be that much faster. Unless you are, like, in the process of, like, your partner having a baby or someone is being murdered, and therefore you should not be there! <laughs> Alright, I have feelings about this now. <laughs> Having worked 13 months of retail. You want to know the craziest thing about it? I actually like customer service. Like, work, like after 13 months of working with stupid... Customer service stuff. I still actually like it. I like interacting with people a lot. Which means that... 
I actually, yes, I do still like it. I know, it's crazy. I mean, I, I guess that's why I like being a streamer, is because I get the, the chance to interact with a bunch of people who I don't know yet. Like, that's fun for me. I describe that sometimes to, like, my introvert friends, and they're like, Oh, God! <laughs> Interact with people you don't know? Ew! <laughs> yeah, they... Yeah. Yeah, they make your job great and shit, depending on the situation. I wonder if I could build a box fort. Get enough boxes to do so. That's fair. I'm an extrovert, so I am not drained by interacting with people unless they're energy vampires. So I have that, I, I definitely have that benefit, which makes it easier for me to handle things like customer service. But I can only imagine how absolute trash it would be to be having to deal with people and also not like, and have them, like, just exhaust you, even if they're, like, nice people. That would suck. So, I feel for you. Not to say that there's anything wrong with being an introvert, but it really is not treated properly, or not, not that it's treated improperly, but, like, um, a capitalist society really does not benefit extra or introverts, usually. Just sad. Because everyone has something to offer. The moment that you're discounting people because of the way that they naturally are is the moment that you have missed something important. Because every... Every feature of a personality has some interesting application. Yes, that, that, is, that is true, Vaughn. I was dealing with stoners because uh, I worked uh, at a uh, provincially run um, uh, cannabis store since I'm Canadian. I don't anymore. But I did used to. It was good. It was great when it was just when the co the coke heads do not come, they are not dealing with the co with coke heads scares the shit out of me. So I still need some more stuff. I'm going to need another. Bread, and I'm going to need salt. Can't afford it, but that's fine. I'm going to need another flower. Blue flower. Uh, pasta.
Okay. Yeah, the shelves are colored. Uh, okay, so I need another pasta. Did I add that yet? Yes, I did. I'm gonna need more sugar. Did I add that? Yes. I'm gonna need two more choco pick. I'm gonna need two more rice. Did I add the rice yet? No. Okay. So when I hit $220, I will put another order in. Oh, 230. First customer of the day. Oh shoot, I was supposed to take a break. We are going to take a break momentarily. Fucking go. come on. Yeah, working retail is special, and you're you're right, Han. It definitely depends on the uh uh the place that you work. Because certain customers are better than others. If you work in food service. You will probably suffer. I probably would not enjoy working. Okay, I didn't. I struggled with retail, but I probably would like genuinely hate food service just because people get hangry a lot. I know how hangry I get, and I'm pretty good at like not taking that that hangriness out on other people. I can't imagine someone who gets as hangry as I do, and they are not good at taking at. Avoiding taking their problems out on other people. That would be... That scares me. Oh, that's really sweet of you, Han. Thanks for gifting Oxpan a sub. Oh my gosh. I am going to add... Yeah. Okay, when I'm not distracted, I'm going to add... Add you, Oxman, to my to the newest sub uh, banner thing that we have. At the end of this day. OK, 
Okay, I was staring at the salt, and for a second, I was like, labia salt? No, that's not what that says. This is lava. I'm glad my brain's working correctly today. Legally distinct. a bit more. Master flower. Oh, to respond to what you said earlier, Ox, I, uh, I'm throwing all the boxes into the street right now because I'm trying to see how much the game can take before it gets really angry at me for just, like, fucking throwing boxes. That's why I'm not cleaning up the boxes. Rather, rather than throwing them out, I want the, uh... I, I, I want to cause chaos and mayhem. My gremlin energy is showing. to not let this get mixed up with the uh, empty boxes out there. Great. Gremlins are the best. No, not 31. Wait, did you... Oh. oh, okay, salt's $2. For a second, I thought they paid with a $4 bill, and I was gonna be like, what the fuck? Though, for some reason, this game has fucking 50-cent coins for some reason. That's weird. This is theft. Why did- just tell me then if I typed- if I missed the thing, rather than just walking off with not enough money. Like, literally, just be like, that's not enough. If you enter it wrong on the credit card thing, it says so- it, like, stops you. Why not on the- the money thing? Cash register, right. Yeah, no, I was a cashier as a job. I, that's why I called it a money thing. Are you seeing this shit? They bought a $3 item with a $100 bill. You, miss, are a bitch. Okay, right, let me... No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Deserves it. 
I was gonna do pennies, but I don't want to click that much. Here, you can have 250 cent coins. How about that? Is this enough for you? Is this good? Is this the change you wanted? Good. <laughs> she walks off with it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 200 coins. Ah. Oh. That's so satisfying. Day 10. Oh fuck, I forgot to change the uh the prices yesterday. Also I forgot to pay I've been forgetting to pay my bills like every fucking day. Okay, that's dealt with. Market. Okay. What do I need? I need two sliced bread. It is the best thing. And I need two flour and two canola. And I need one pasta, two sugar. It annoys me that there's pasta, and then pasta spaghetti. And then there's oil, and then there's olive oil. Just say canola oil. Or just say penne. Don't, don't make me get out the uh, membership card shredder. Oh, fuck. Pick. Okay, so two basmati. Okay. Getty. One olive oil. Two flour. One peanut butter. Revoke the online store's membership. Which one? <laughs> you walk into a grocery store, they're like, I'm revoking your Amazon Prime. But you're not from Amazon! I don't care. We don't allow Prime heads in here. That's like the perfect derogatory term for people who have Amazon Prime. Prime heads. I have Amazon Prime. <laughs> I will admit that. <laughs> there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. It's just it's just funny. It is efficient if you buy from Amazon regular, which unfortunately I do. Makes me. Never mind. Okay, what? Do I have enough room? Okay, good. I have enough room for another Basmati. Good, because I have another Basmati. I wish I hadn't thrown out any boxes, so I could be like, I haven't thrown out a single box since the start. I need to remember to save after I'm done stocking. So I have a thing. And also not start the day immediately, because we do need to take a quick commercial break. For the sake of not having pre-roll ads.
because Twitch will just put ads on my channel anyways if I don't roll them myself, so. At least if I do them all at once, then new viewers won't get them. And you can, like, go to the washroom while they're playing, because I don't need you to watch them. You don't have to watch them. In, in fact, I would prefer you don't watch them, so. Okay, I can get one more spaghetti and one more chocolate pick. Wish these amounts would reset. More spaghetti, one more choco pick, anything else? Another peanut butter. Yeah, that should be good for now. point soon I'm gonna want to get the storage room. So my box fort has been going quite well, so. Fits, I sit. I sit now. Oh, there's no crouch key. A glorious, glorious box throne. There's no cars coming. That's annoying. I wanted, I, I wanted to be a menace and obstruct cars. <laughs> okay. Okay, so before we start the day, we're going to go on a brief intermission. Good chance to get up and use the washroom and so on. Some water and so on. Oh, oh yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. Yes, so we are going to be right back in a moment. Thank you all so much for... Uh, waiting? What was my brain? My brain was trying to do something and it. Oh! Oh! I remember what I needed. Okay, I completely for forgot. Um. Ox, are you still here? Okay, my newest sub thing has been updated, and now we have that. Wait, what the fuck? Oh. Okay, well that's gonna be awkward, whatever. <laughs> Okay, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, and we will continue the stream. Here be. And we're back. Hello, everyone. Hope you got your chance to get water and stuff. Okay, so I think we finished docking properly. Now we can start the day. Yeah. Alright, I can't reach it.
Okay. Day 11, I think? Okay, so I want to get 800 for the storage room. Yay! Yeah, you have a star next to your name because Han gifted you a sub. All subs have a star next to it. It also means that you don't get ads anymore on the channel. Speaking of which, if anyone has Amazon Prime, is a uh, Prime head, you can get a uh, free subscription to any channel you want once a month. Just go to subscribe and select the uh, use Am use Prime sub. And it benefits me in just the same way as if you had paid money. Did I use mine this month? I don't think I have used mine this month. I think I know who it's going to. No, not this. Pick something different. I really wish it didn't pause as soon as I tapped out. There's a lot of tabbing involved with streaming. <laughs> Like if I want to pause, I can just use the the escape menu, what it's for. Self checkouts. Nine hundred. Oh, Han, I don't know if you were here for it, but uh, Chill and Trying was saying that the self checkouts actually work really well. They're like the same speed, if not faster, than the uh, than hiring someone to do the uh, uh, cash stuff for you. I'm gonna tell you since I know you do play this game a fair bit. I mean, this game would become pretty AFK if I wasn't doing the uh, cash stuff. So I guess if you have a big enough store, then it's all about keeping everything stocked.
Oh my gosh, we have twins. And they both bought a single item and paid with card. The guy with the sunburned forehead. Oops, that was the wrong thing. Okay, it's not theft if I give you not enough change and then you walk out voluntarily. That's not theft. That's not how theft works. Don't you cry theft on me. Melty hot? That's not good. That sounds very warm. Well, thankfully at least you have AC. This, like, rave music does not really fit. Look. Chill atmosphere. I know you're moving soon. Does your new place have AC? I would hope it has AC. More people found products expensive. Oh, because I forgot to check the prices, that's why. Cheap. Expensive. That's fine. 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 Too expensive. Fine. That's way too expensive. And cool. Can't hear the rave music? This music? Had it kind of low for a while. <laughs> I'm going to buy storage. Done. Yay, I have a tiny cubicle. Okay, I need flour. Goofler.
and olive oil. Ooh, pasta. Definitely at least one basmati. And susu. And one flower. One other flower. My four bread. Oop, I'm a little bit short. Well, I have enough susu. Got 240 shinies in Pokemon Violet? Holy shit. Who hurt you? That sounds, like, atrocious to have to deal with. Sorry, I don't mean that as an insult, just, like... That sounds like, like, hell to go through. Why you talk so much shit about your your skill, Han? Your brain works in very specific ways. Some games work really well with those ways. Some do not. It's just that simple. Sorry, what also what do you have a bachelor's in again? Just remind me the the bachelor's degree you have. I don't have a bachelor's degree. Okay, do I want anything else? No, uh, I think I'm Okay, not today. Okay, so I need a Osmati, Yasusu, I need bread, uh, and I need more salt. Running an RPG is fun. If it's well designed. If it's not, it's not fun. I'm a bachelor to a degree. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sorry to report that probably does not count. For some reason, that saying I have the bachelor's just reminds me of the, the joke, like, I'm not gay, but my boyfriend is. Just like, I'm not a bachelor, but my boyfriend is. That's 
stock, 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 stock. Oh, I can take another... Another box of salt? Wow. Like in focus mode right now. Pumping out all, all the, all the. My brain keeps saying caches. It's not caches. Pushing through all those transactions. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, there's numbers right beside the things. I could use that. I have no idea what you're talking about, Ox, but I noticed you mentioned Hat in Time. Which means that I'm sure Han has something to say. Masochist enjoys receiving pain, a sadist enjoys giving pain. Making you a masochist. I like the fact I can click the groceries as fast as I want. That is called a sadomasochist. Someone who enjoys giving and receiving pain. Because it is a combination of the two words. Oh, this is such good music. This is All Night by Aaron Reno from Outer Tones. It's amazing how little Nintendo seems to understand about gaming as a gaming company. No, okay, I'm not gonna get- no, 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 no. Okay, that is where I'm gonna end that conversation, because I'm gonna start- I know myself, I'm gonna start ranting about how shit Nintendo is for its- its policies and shit that it does. Nothing about its products, just the shit that it does. That is why we have a Nintendo boycott on this channel. Which, mean, that doesn't mean you can't talk about it. You can talk about stuff as much as you want. I just don't play Nintendo products on the channel. Uh, no, I'm not going to keep the yellow walls. I will change that. Oh, Han, so uh, if you want to set what color the furniture is, there's this little bar right here. I just set mine to blue, and then you just add to cart then. I don't know how to paint the actual shelves that are there, so that's something I'm going to have to learn eventually, but until that point... Yeah, 
Blue could go. I'm trying to match my channel colors. Honestly, I might do white. Okay, olive oil and peanut butter went up in price. Hmm. Is it expansion time is the next question. You know what? I think it's expansion time. Management. Growth. Oh wait, that's too expensive. Okay, because I want it I want to get both section two and three at the same time. That's gonna cost me eleven hundred. Keep that in mind. Okay, in the meantime, one chocolate pick, one basmati. Two spaghetti. One olive oil. Two fleur. One peanut butter. One fleur there. I need salt. Oh, right. I can just do math. 15. Okay, so I can take another... Roses are black. Violets are black. Everything's black. I'm blindfolded. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. I haven't heard that one before. I thought you were just going to say I'm blind. Saying I'm blindfolded is definitely, like, a more sensitive way of doing that. I approve of your joke. That's right. Okay. So I can take another flower, which I think I have somewhere. Peanut butter. I like the blindfolded one. That's much funnier. Especially because, like, I do know people who have colorblindness, and it sounds like it's really annoying, so. Okay, so I still need Susu. Did I add that yet? Two pasta. Pasta, one salt. I also need one sugar. Taco pick. And a get. Butter. Good.
I know someone's gonna say it. I can put that. I know I can put down partially open, like open partially empty boxes. I just don't like doing it, so that's why I consistently, like, I only really stock things if I can put the whole box out. Oh, that's 48. Okay, so I can take more. But I can just do that next. One day this will be a problem for me. I don't know what day that will be, but it's not today. It's so easy just to throw them out too. <laughs> it just it's really funny to me. Wait, I still have so much salt that I don't have. Salt 16? In that case, yeah, I definitely need one more salt. Another salt. For olive oil. Another sea soup. Another red flower. No one needs three bottles of olive oil. No one does. Darn it, I forgot to add a stream marker back at the, um... <laughs> the 50, uh... <laughs> the 250 cent coins. <laughs> I need- I need to- I need to clip that at some point. Oh, and if you're not busy, can you send me a DM in, in Discord uh, to clip the um, the 250 cent piece thing? I would appreciate that. That does sound likely, but I feel like they wouldn't go to the corner store to buy that. They would buy in bulk if they were a chef. Thank you, On. Yeah, see, $100 for a $53 total, that's fair. That is a fair and reasonable thing to do. $100 for a... Three dollar total? No. I mean, that would make sense, Ox, if, like, they were like, I have to go get some, some, some stuff, and with, we, our grocery delivery doesn't come till later today, we're gonna have to, we've severely underestimated something, or we've forgot to stock it. Usually, it's that someone has forgot to stock it. Were you here, Ox, when someone someone gave me a hundred dollar bill and I gave them two hundred coins in response? Like like in game. Cause that was very satisfying. I need more salt.
I should open up my auto clicker just so I have that at the ready if I need it. <laughs> and this game is like genuinely really addictive. I did not think I would enjoy it as much as I have, but I really have. Yeah, yeah, accepting hundreds is a bit... Yeah. We accepted them at the weed store because we had a number of products that were over $100. Like, if you were buying an ounce of weed, for example. I don't think we had any ounces under 100 Since that is a lot of fucking weed. I go through the equivalent of, like... Um, math. I go through less than one hundred, one one hundredth of an ounce a day. Notably less. Ounces are a lot. Because an ounce is twenty eight grams. Well, yeah, you go through zero. You don't smoke pot. <laughs> well, to be fair, I don't smoke it either. I vape it, but still. Except for those weird days when I'm like, I really want a joint for some reason, and I don't know why. And I'm like, and every time I'm like, I regret this because I know it's not good for me. But also, sometimes I want a joint. Ah, uh, bad decision. Pass is too expensive? Did I forget, or are you just complaining? Yeah, okay, that should be rounded down, not up. Okay, well, it'll be cheaper now. The price that, they, that the AI picks it up at, though, is the price that they buy it at. For better or for worse, so... You can't even, like, fix it retroactively, either. I'm sorry to hear about your eyebrows. I understand now what sort of cope... That it is an important coping mechanism. I wish that you had something else that didn't... Yeah, yeah. I wish you had something else that was easier to use, but I certainly don't know the answer, so. Yeah, sucking dick definitely helps. Especially if you have, like, an oral fixation. Okay, so... I do have enough money for the expansion now. That is fair. I swing. Every way. <laughs> okay. Section two, set... Oh, what? Oh, right. Yeah, there. Section three. Why? 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 Why do they do this? What is wrong with them? Why didn't they just do it uniformly? Why are they ass? What is wrong with them? Do they have a problem? No, 
no, it's at four by four. This is not four by four. This is like eight by two. This one's four by four. That is not four by four. That is eight by two. That is not fucking right. And I am mad. I am mad. I am unhappy and my day is ruined. That's a reference. But I am still annoyed. It is really fucking stupid. It is so stupid. Someone has a stupid face. Oh, they're not stupid. They just... I get the sense this is like a small studio who made this. They're... I'm sure they're doing their best. And I appreciate the game that they have created, and I have enjoyed it. This pisses me off, the way that they did it, but I do appreciate and enjoy their game. Yeah, sometimes things are just bass backwards. That's okay. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong. It's not. It's not a big deal. We we are not having a problem right now. We're not having a problem. You're having a problem. Why are you having a problem? Err. Well, I have a very weirdly shaped store now. Alright, put that there, seeing as the door is useless. Oh my god. At least you don't deal with that problem with weed, because everything's behind the counter. And it's the employees saying, man, someone moved it, and I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh, I forgot to restock. Oops. Oh, whatever. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Two pasta, a lot of flour. What do I need? I another chocolate pick. Some more spaghetti. I'll add some olive oil. I'll check out a few customers. Money back. Right, can I afford that? Okay, I have... No, I don't have enough. Damn it. Buy my stuff. Buy... Oh. You're buying a lot of peanut butter. That's Peanut Butter Man. Sometimes you just look at a man and be like, that's Peanut Butter Man. You know, if if I didn't think it would auto save and I would have a problem, um, I would like to try to like shortchange everyone I interact with and see if they respond to that. And the customers do multiple transactions back to back. Uh, I don't. I never encounter a scenario where there are customers that have multiple transactions. Hi, 
I'm jelly lad. Get close to me and I'll puree your face. Oh my gosh, Jelly Lad's only ability is to give people diabetes. Because he's really sugary. That's an awful thing. I am so sorry. Uh, no, there are no thieves in this as far as I know. I feel like that would go very much against the aesthetic of the game. Which is to just, like, be chill. Salt has to sugar. Oil. Salt. Has to sugar. I feel like if there's gonna be shoplifters, it's gonna be something really fucking goofy. Two basmati. One peanut butter. One olive oil. One flour. Yeah, I, I genuinely think that it would be, like, I think it would be, like, Comic Thief. I think, I think that's what it'd be like. Maybe not that far. I feel like it'd be, like, a hoodie. But I do feel like they would be creeping in a not-so-stealthy way. And I wish you could have multiple save slots. Because I want to fuck around with this game. Oh shit, I need to put more lights up. Oh, and the lights aren't on a fucking grid either. Oh, that's gonna suck. I need at least three lights. In reality, it's a board middle aged, aged people doing it for the thrill. Yeah, maybe. Only one time I dealt with someone stealing something, like, 
they genuinely just... It was stupid. They, like, did it actually in front of me, because they, like, caused a diversion like you would see in a movie. It was just so weird. I said a group of four kids steal a box of condoms when working at a dr- oh. See, that's unfortunate, because that just says to me that decent contraception is not available to them. Day 14, end. Sugar went down, peanut butter went down. Sugar, peanut butter, basmati. Sugar, peanut butter. I mean, that's fair. They probably were, but I do think that it's something that should be readily available to anyone who might need it, because... Yeah, it would be stupid of them to, to be in a place where they need to use that at their age. But I would rather they make a stupid decision with protection than a stupid decision without protection. Not that. Okay. Oh, that's a light. I'm gonna put those over there. Thankfully, they're glass, so I can throw them. Hungry. I'm going to have to end the stream soon so I can go get some food. I've been streaming for three and a half hours already. This game just... It's just really good. I didn't... I didn't realize how good it was. Really, I really did not have a good concept of how good it was. But it is really just that good. I mean, look at this box pile. Any game that allows you to do this is obviously a good game. Yeah. For better or for worse, I generally find that indie games have a higher amount, higher quality than uh, AAA games. Because it doesn't matter how much money you have if you if you misuse it horrifically. that. Yeah, oh my gosh, I totally agree. 
It is full of bugs. Aqua pick, susu, pasta. Aqua pick, pasta. And I guess I might as well do salt and. Oh shit, I ran out. <laughs> For a second, instead of saying, like, this weird glitch where I get lonely and th or I get money, then it's gone, I thought you said, I get lonely and then my money is gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need more Chaka Pick. Oh, I forgot about the stuff over here! Shit! That's gonna be a problem. I'm gonna have to figure that one out. to add a flower. And two bread to the list. Hold on. How does that look? Brocious. At least I'll be able to actually see shit now. That's nicer. I gotta put the lights up. That's probably right. There's no way of actually telling, fortunately, so. Just gonna have to wing it now, aren't I? There. Oh no, conflict. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, I think I need to actually, like, legitimately end the stream. I'm in need of num num. Oh, gosh darn it. Hold on. I forgot to place this. It's been sitting out there forever. What the? Oh my god. Seriously, not. <laughs> Okay, I really, really, really need Snap 2 in this game. Just put everything in a grid system and have it snap, have everything snap to a grid. Have the lights snap to a grid. Have these things snap to the wall. Have the entire floor be a grid. Grr. Okay. Well, hopefully my box fort doesn't go anywhere while I'm gone. Look how big the box fort got. Actually, let me just go up. Eh. No. 
Look how big our box fort is. This is perfect. Wish it was more forty and less boxy, but... Eh. I don't want to launch them. I want to throw them close-ish. I'm going to stack them. Okay, yeah, no, I need to... <laughs> I need to actually end the stream and, like, go get food. It would be very, very good for me. Uh For those on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. And I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Uh, who's that girl sitting up in the tree making a box fort? Just the owner. <laughs> I like that. Okay, for those on Twitch, for everyone who's here and has been here, thank you so much. Oh boy. Thank you, uh, Chili, for raiding, and thank you, Han, for gifting a sub to Oxman. I appreciate all of you, as well as everyone else, who's even just been here, even if it's for a short while. I will be streaming again on Tuesday, as I stream Tuesday, Thursday, 2.30 p.m. PST, 5.30 p.m. EST, every week. I probably will be back with the forest next stream, or if I don't feel like getting eaten by cannibals, I will play Supermarket Simulator instead. I do want to finish the forest, though, so that is still going to be on my list of things to do. Okay. Okay. Like... Comment, subscribe, follow, uh, hug your dog, all your parents, you know the drill. Have a good day, everyone, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.